Hey, welcome back everyone. Today I'm finally going to be reacting to the Mandela catalog. A lot of you watching this probably found me through my videos on Alternate Watch, which is a game that's based on the Mandela catalog lore, and I pretty much missed out on all the lore and all the little bits and pieces of context that are present in that game. So I thought I'd watch this to kind of get a better understanding of what's going on here. Keep in mind, I'm not the best at doing reaction videos. I don't really know how to react other than just by watching and trying to analyze a little bit. So be forewarned, this video may have like some cuts, some slight edits, some analysis, some commentary. So if you haven't already and you'd like to see the full video in its entirety with none of that stuff. The first link you'll see in the description will be a link to the video. But without further ado, let's get into the Mandela catalog. We are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. Until okay. we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. I do the first two all the time anyway. You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person that has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. What's this dude doing? What the hell? So if I see somebody who looks like me but with long ass arms and a big ass head, or just me upside down, then I should be worried. If I one gotcha. manages to break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. The okay. intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. Mm. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. What is happening? Wait, whoa, 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 what was that? There's something going on here. I'm trying to pause it at the right time. This is what I meant by analysis, y'all. What am I seeing here? Are those like tentacles or is that just glitchiness? I have no idea. I see a person over there. I have no idea. The event of an alternate encounter. Follow the think principle. Okay. Tell an authority figure about your encounter. Easy enough. Hinder the alternate's movement. Easier said than done. <laughs> Identify the class type. Oh, uh, okay, so this is basically... I see, I see. Neutralize the alternate if safe to do so. And then what's K? Know your place in reality. So already I, I'm starting to understand a little bit more because in alternate watch, you had a list of different like intruder style anomalies. So there was flawed tulpa creature and pure form. Those are the four that I know about and I kind of know the properties of each, but I do want to still continue watching and see like how it plays into the whole story here. Know your enemy type one doppelganger. Okay, so maybe this is different then. I don't know why, but the person on the left looks even scarier. Is that supposed to be the doppelganger? Because if so... Okay, it's kind of hard to tell these two apart. Type 3? What happened to type 2? Ow? Okay. Don't like that sound, bro. What comes next? Victim one, victim two. So these pictures I recognize from the game. Mark Heathcliff and Cesar Torres. I gotta try to remember that this is Mark. Kind of easy to remember just by looking at the dude. And I know Mark has like kind of a big significance in the story, but I don't exactly know how, so I'm going to find out. Okay. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you right? Yeah, it's 
not me, it's my mom. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. Mm. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I asked why? Well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, mm. that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't, I don't know. Alright, I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing, try to get a good view of the oh, Okay, don't like you. I know you got a friendly smile, but can you please uh, go? Okay. Oh, All right, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. I have a bad feeling about that. I don't know. I feel like the person Caesar is taking to the hospital may not actually be his mother based on the context that we just got. But then what could have happened to his mother? I don't know. I'm gonna shut up and keep watching. Okay, I assume driving to the house now? So far I'm digging this though. The concept is already really cool to me. Seems to be well executed. Okay, sharp ass turn. At the house now. Something really wrong is about to happen, dude. I just know it. Okay, so we're hearing him leave the car now. Walking up to the house. Opening the door. Ooh. That's a good view. Is that the front? Oh. So wait, did he just turn them on? Okay, I think he turned them on and he got the hell out of there. Motion detected at 3.31 a.m. Recording start. Oh boy. Where is it? The anticipation is killing me, dude. Okay, there's something weird happening there. I can't make out what it is, though. It's so blurry. And this changed again. Oh. That's fun. Sound increase detected at 5.34 a.m. Recording start. Who are you? G get away from me! No! Oh, shit. I, I got a wave of chills through my entire body from that. I think I might have been wrong. Maybe Caesar isn't who he appears to be. I'm um, I'm invested now. It followed me home, Caesar. Wait, what? Okay, I'm I'm wrong. <laughs> me and Mark, I have a gift for you. You you. I have a present. I have a surprise. Somehow I doubt that. I do not want to see what is on the other side. Keep your door locked. Get a shotgun ready. But it has been days? Oh, shit. And nobody has come to help me. Wow. Bad decision, Mark. 
this happens in the game too. In alternate watch, you see up at the top, instead of the name of the room that you're looking at, it says bad decision mark. So I think I know what's coming after this. I don't know that I'm ready. What is happening? Don't like that. Don't like that at all. It's staring very intently. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up. And there it is. That's Mark, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe this is Mark. The afflicted here. But what could have happened? How did that happen? Was he trying to kill the, uh, the doppelganger? Attention, viewing the following footage is illegal and punishable by law. You have access to this recording and are not part of your local authority. Please stop the video and discard of the tape immediately. Sorry. I'm too invested. Okay. Emergency call operator. While at the station, a situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. Okay. There are three, and only three, Scenarios that you will handle with a caller. Police. When a caller needs the police, send available personnel to the address. Alright, fire. When the caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. Medical. When the caller has a medical emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital. Here at the Mandela County Police Department, we thank you for viewing this instruction. Encounter? Do not help a caller reporting an alternate encounter. No matter how frantic their screams are. Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. But it's not really on the way, is it? Call can be ended when they stop responding to your questions? Do not speak too much. You might accidentally reveal your fear. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Toddler stress assessment? Record your child's responses to the following media. Section one, okay. Record response, that was beautiful. Very peaceful and serene. I liked it. Kind of silly and goofy, but in the right circumstances, it can be creepy. Next one. Sheep. Daddy didn't tuck me in. And there's a man in the closet. Kind of an actual fear of mine. The Scary Night by Mark, age four. Is this the same Mark? I'd assume so. School, Man Mandela Elementary School. Grade 4K. Daddy didn't check under my bed last night. Oh. So I went to mommy's room. I was scared. There was scary knocking on the door. And the scariest part is walking by the dark room by the stairs. 
I feel that. I feel that in my chest. Yep, there it is. Very straightforward illustration, I gotta say. This kid's got talent. Almost at mommy's room, then I saw the man in the corner. Okay. Him. Now, is that the intruder? Creature? Whatever it's called? Then I fell asleep. The end! <laughs> Just like that. Man, this kid's going places. I gotta say. Section two. That's a cute little cat, gotta say. And what now? Aw, nice happy family. Stock image family, that's great. <laughs> Number three. A blue balloon, my favorite color. This is delightful, dude. It went from scary to, to fun and friendly and happy, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Is this supposed to be video footage or just an image? It's you. An intruder. Cool. Don't like the eyes, dude. Module complete. If anything unexpected occurred during the test, let your advisor know immediately. And was that it? Oh, that was it. Okay. Interesting. Well, I gotta say, it was a lot more tame than I was expecting. Granted, there was some pretty dark and heavy subject matter going on here. But I think Alternate Watch, the game, kind of takes some creative liberties with like the naming of certain entities that you see in the game. So I may have gotten a lot wrong in that respect because I was going off of what I knew from there when I should just kind of throw a lot of that out the window and just see most of that as simply referential to the source material, which is this. And as for this, as far as analog horror goes, I mean, this seems to be like nice baseline, like what analog horror should be. A lot of audio based stuff, old stock footage, really weird, somehow uncanny, like public service announcement type stuff. And this fits the mold absolutely perfectly. Again, there's a lot of dark, disturbing, subject matter in here but i do have some questions and i'm sure as i continue watching through this series i'll kind of get some more answers but one of my questions is that we we see this by mark this scary night story and it says mark is age four so we can determine based on that that this occurrence like alternates and everything bad happening here has been happening forever I'd assume because we see Mark at the beginning here and he seems to be like a grown man or at least, you know, a young adult. So it makes me wonder how long has he actually been haunted by things like this and didn't even realize. It. And also the conversation that he has with Caesar, it almost seems too like nonchalant and not that worried about what's happening which is very odd to me especially after receiving the public service announcement in the beginning if it were me i would be insanely afraid to leave my house and yeah i also do i don't know i'm suspicious of caesar or his mother the fact that he brought his mother to the hospital i don't know was that the voice that we heard here at mark's house was that supposed to be caesar or was that supposed to be the mother and it's like an alternate of one of them. I'm still very new to this story, so there's a lot of context that I need to be filled in. So if any of y'all know, be sure to let me know in the comments if I'm getting things wrong, if I'm missing things. But yeah, as of now, I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, there's not so much to analyze because it's all pretty straightforward. But I'm sure as the series continues, it gets a lot deeper and there's a lot more moving parts that I'll be able to pick apart little by little. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm kind of mad at myself that I waited so long to watch this. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm not super confident about doing reaction videos because I never really know what to say, but this was so interesting that it kind of gave me a lot to expound upon. So yeah, with that, I think I'll leave the video off here. If you guys happen to enjoy this and you maybe want to watch the full thing for yourselves, again, the first link you see down below in the description 
will be a link to this video and i'll also leave a link to alex kister's channel but yeah thanks everyone for watching i appreciate the support you all show me on this channel every single day you all mean the world to me and if you happen to enjoy this video and you maybe want to see more of my reactions to the series be sure to leave a like down below leave me a little comment let me know how you feel let me know what i missed fill me in on some of the lore that won't spoil anything in the future for me and as always if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw here be sure to hit that subscribe button down below it really helps me out a lot once again i thank you all so much for watching this video and i can't wait to see you all in the next one take it easy